You're rolling right now. All right, guys. Hey, guys, Rich here at Orsi Informer. Uh, we're here at SEF 2018. It's, uh, what is it, Friday? I'm losing track of time. Yeah, I think it's Friday. <laughs> the uh, rain event yesterday, so, and uh, today, guys, I got um, somebody to let me fly one of their, or offered to let me fly their uh, flight line F7F, and honestly, guys, I haven't flown it at all. I haven't really seen them too much up close, so I'm going to kind of give you guys a little review. Uh, maybe a little comparison with the FMS plane. Um, it's a nice airplane, a little smaller, 1600 millimeters. Uh, it's got a nice little latch back here. It looks like it's metal into some wood here, it looks like. And uh, it takes two four cell packs. It looks like these are 3000s, I think. And uh, nice wires here that come in for your, uh, your wing connections. It's uh, real similar to the FMS plane, how it is, but it's, uh, it is built a little bit differently. We'll take a look at the retracts if you guys want to look under here. Um, a little simpler on the retracks, just straight wires and uh, you know wrapped in some plastic. We'll cycle them, we'll just test it out, see how they go in. Yeah, pretty nice. All the linkages, I'll just kind of pre-flight them. Real long pitot tube on this. Nice landing light, flat finish. No rivets on it compared to the FMS plane, but uh, all the linkages look like they're good in there. We'll extend the gear, let that come out. It takes a second, I think, because there's a delay. Probably uh, a delay in the board for for uh, doors and stuff. But the doors are all mechanical, spring loaded. All the linkages look good. And uh, we'll do a quick flight control check. You guys ready? Good. All right. Let's see what we got. Let me do a quick run up here. Let's get this thing. It has some good power to it for sure. So quick flight control check. I'm gonna walk out on the runway, guys. You guys can find kind of follow me out. Got two video guys here. We've got John from Just Wing It and, <laughs> and cameraman Pete Ashton returning to the scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Let's do it. All right, now I'm only getting one flap here. I'm only getting one flap coming down. See how I'm throwing the flaps down? Oh, I'm only yeah. getting one. Is that, a, is that probably a loose connection up there or something? One of these things? Yeah, there that's what it was. So I think that's kind of the one of the things actually I've been talking about is that. A lot, of guys, a lot of guys are saying the bullet connectors, like on the FMS, cause problems, but obviously you can have problems with both, so you just got to make sure those uh, serial lines are in there nice. But it looks like we got flaps now. We're not going to use any for takeoff because Tiger Cats are better without it for taking off. So, Alright, you guys ready now? Alright, flight controls check, elevator's good. We're going to start on a mid-rate. There we go. Going to taxi on out. I'm going to come over here, you guys. We'll come onto the runway a little. Taxi go! Looks like it handles the grass pretty well. It's a little bounce here because there's no suspension in the stock retract, but there we go guys. Take it off, take it off! Alright, wheels are coming up. Oh yeah, it needs some trim. We trim it up. Uh, I Dwight just put this thing together, so this is the first flight out, so it needs to be trimmed up a little bit. Let me bring it back here. Oh, that roll rate is high. Let's see. Yep, it's not trimmed at all here. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Can you see it okay, Pete? Let's see, I gotta tame the cat here. <laughs> That's a little bit better, yeah. Tame, tame the bad kitty here. Tame the bad kitty. Yeah, I think I got it trimmed down now. Well, he just put it together, you know. It's sure, sure, sure. Out. Absolutely. And uh, he probably has Expo and all kinds of stuff in there that I don't run any of mine in my uh, FMS plane, but. Got a guy on the field now. Thank you, yep. All right, let's see. We'll bring it on by here, guys, nicely. Yeah, he's got Expo in this because I can tell the pitch is hunting around a little but nice flying plane real smooth let's see how it rolls oh nice there we go yeah that's nice landing You're landing i just went to high rate on everything so we'll see how everything functions he's got everything on one switch too right i have mine separate so lots of traffic out here guys too so yeah that flies nice flying airplane. I think the thing is, is he's got Expo in his and I don't really, I use like zero Expo in mine. Here, let's see. Let's come by with some flaps. Landing 
Oh my time. god. Wow. Oh shit. That one flap again because it's yeah, forcing you to the right. Flap because it just rolled. Yep, it's rolling to the right. What I did is I put the flaps back up. I think one flap was yep, no, because it just rolled. On no, the you're line. doing that pilot stuff and that's good because okay. you save the aircraft. Well, I've heard that's happened before in small light twins, and if that ever happens, when you put the flaps in, you just put them, just put them back up again. Yep. So it might be just an intermittent contact there. Yeah, you see that? It's actually rolling. Uh huh. We'll sure just, is. We'll just land it without flaps. That's fine. You know, both of these airplanes, FMS and Flightline, you have contacts there, guys, whether they're bullets or whether they're, you know, whether they're serial connectors, you know, they can, they can, they can be faulty, so you just got to be careful of that stuff. If you ever have that happen, just put the flaps back up. But nice flying airplane. Not bad at all. Here we go, here we go. Coming in fast here. Yeah, not bad. Speed's okay, not bad. I think the FMS is a faster airplane stock, but not by too much. It's just a little bit of a difference. I can tell the vertical performance is, is probably better here. Okay, let's see. Let's try going straight up, guys, see what it does. I'll do this from... Uh, yep. Gotcha. Going up. It goes up there pretty good. I did that from a zoom climb. I don't know where it's going now. There, that was kind of unexpected. There we go. All right, you guys ready? I'm gonna land it. You ready? We, we got you, brother. I'm just gonna leave the flaps up and see if that connector is causing us some issues or not. I got power pretty much off here. I'm bringing a little in here. There we go. Oh, nice. Without flat. Oh, you see the flap dropping? Yep. <laughs> I was that flap was dropping. Yeah. So we got to get into this contact. Not a big deal, guys. That happens with a lot of airplanes. Can tell with that landing, you are type certified on the F7F. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, there we go, man. Oh, look what, hey, did you see that? Oh, look, look yeah, at this. Right, that flap is actually, yeah, look at that. It's flickering. Yeah, it's flickering. That's all right, guys. That happens with all brands of planes. You just got to be aware that that's going on. I'm not sure why it's doing it while I'm not, uh, you know, while I don't even have a switch. Yeah. You know, when I put it down there, it was just rolled. So there must be somebody written contact here. But overall, guys, this free wing plane is pretty nice. I like it. So um, um, compared to the FMS, it's similar in flight performance. I think the uh, I think the FMS has a lot more power for sure. Uh, uh, but this is a nice airplane. I think for the money, it's uh, if I can figure out what that flaps to it. Uh, nice little airplane, guys. Uh, you guys got any comments or anything? It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a good, good looking plane. Like I said, yeah. you look like you're, you're type certified on the F7F. I'd like you... to see more rivets. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Here, let's roll it over here real quick. Stay on it. Pete. Sure. No, stay on it. Go this way. Here we go. All around. We'll throw it up next to the, uh, the FMS plane. You kind of see the difference in the two. Kind of get an idea what the size looks like. They're real similar, just uh, more scale landing gear on the FMS plane and more rivets. One battery here, two batteries here. You got a little more price on this one. This one's 550. Can you can you pick up the uh, the free wing and hold it upside down over the FMS to give a size uh, comparison? Uh, oh, just hold it over. Yeah, just hold it over the top. So yeah. they're very similar. Very, very similar, but you can yeah. clearly see the, the FMS yeah, is a bit size, bigger. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You've, got, you've got a 16th of the size bigger here and about 50% more power because you only have, you have six cell, but only one, you know? Right, here, right. Two. But nice flying airplane, both guys. I, I don't think you go wrong either way, you know, going with either one. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get another plane. Let's go fly something. Outstanding, because we're having a blast no, at Seth, Seth 2018. We still got Saturday. We still got the halftime show. The weather's perfect, so if you're not at Seth or you're not planning on thinking about it, come on out. We got tons of planes for everybody to see. I know Kike Salmanzini's down there with all his stuff, too. So, yep. uh, lots of stuff to see. Lots of stuff. Lane's planes here, so all kinds of nice stuff. I might get one of those plaques. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching uh, RC Informer. Thanks, Pete. All right, John guys. For filming. Check out just wing it. John's <laughs> going to be putting all this stuff up. If he, hopefully he'll get this up tonight. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm off. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it, Rich. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.